much stronger we're sticking to it. Uh, we are all, as you can tell, a little out of practice. Things keep going a little crazy. On your side too. So. All right. Okay. My name is Marcus, as you can tell. Stop it. Stop it. Please stop it. to stay up late tonight and come see the masquerade again our first masquerade in three years uh, half our stuff got lost so i think we're doing a pretty good job half is here, half is here. that is right <laughs> okay so we got a good show set up for you tonight with some nice surprises yeah why don't you give everybody a good round of applause they all worked hard on their costumes uh, let me introduce our judges real quick. We got Giselle Ataya. We got Joshua Counts. And we have Brian Lawrence. Now, all three of them are unique, is that all three of them at one time has won Best in Show. So, I think that we may have an idea of what's going on. Okay, without any other lame jokes on my side, I'm going to introduce our uh, Toastmaster tonight, Mr. Mark Dunn. If you've listened to his music, you know who he is. How's everyone doing tonight? Come on. How's everyone doing tonight? Are you ready for some masquerade? Yeah. Well, let's get this started. We're going to kick it off with Kaylee. This is Maddie, the Royal Ranger, out of the morning mist, steps the green cloaked figure, bow drawn, silently searching. Where is that evil beast? Moving from tree to tree, as quiet as a forest mouse, staying in the shadows, listening intently, she pans down, finding the tracks of a quarry. The tracks are very fresh. It's close. Quickly she scans and spins around a tree, and there is a fearsome beast that towers over, uh, over these nearby bushes and sees her. It roars and her bones, swings as arrow after arrow launches into the beast It falls over dead. <laughs> How about bust my ass? Stop. Should she get her elbow in? Stop. <laughs> my sound go off. <laughs> oh. Rod's gonna fall down. Maybe I will be using the microphone. <laughs> Alright, uh, can I get a microphone here? What happened to my microphone? Oh, the sound went out? Check one, two, three, four, one, two, one, y'all King Kong. There we go, we have the sound right here. Next up, we have Mally. Yeah, a little loud. With the costume is the raven. The raven was created by an unknown and mysterious disease that I like to call Caroleus Lapis. It all started in the 16th century, a year a victim of the bubonic plague in which millions of people perished. Among those people is where the dozens of victims that were infected by the Caroleus Lapis. Most were plague doctors the great masters of medicine. They were infected and mutilated into monsters of which no words could describe. The victim that is about to be seen as Subject 001, Besoro Turagaki, the first creature. He was the first victim ever to be found in the part of history and had suffered many wounds. His organs were crystallized 
and inside out fascinating and disgusting me to my very core. Every day he is heavily sedated and locked into layers and layers of harsh concrete alone. The people on our planet shall never have to worry about this ever, for we have it under control. Introducing Rin, dressed as Lara Croft, Tomb Raider. They say life is fragile, delicate as glass, and yet life can also be cruel. However, I have learned experience makes a great teacher. I have learned from experience that the greatest treasure in life is not ancient chalices, crowns of fallen royalty, or escaping a cursed island and the wrath of the Sun Queen. Okay, I take that one back. No, the greatest treasure in life is a treasure that no one should stop you from seeking. No one needs or in-laws should hold you back from finding that treasure because the greatest treasure in life 
is often right under our noses. The greatest treasure in life is you. down the empire. Nope, nope. Yes. 
And when I can tell at sight about a rifle from a javelin, and when such a bears a swart, he sends surprise to some more worry at. And when I know precisely what is meant by commissariat. And when I have learned what progress has been made in modern gunnery. And when I know more of tactics than a novice in nonnery. And in short, when I have a smattering of elemental strategy. You'll say a better major general has ever strategy. You'll say a better major general has ever strategy. You'll say a better major general has ever strategy. You'll say a better major general has ever strategy. Well, my military knowledge, though, and plucky and adventury, has only been brought down to the beginning of the century, but still in matters vegetable, animal, and mineral, I am the very model of a modern major general. But still in matters vegetable, animal, and mineral, he is the very model of a modern major general. Major general. Major general. Major general. Major general. That's a lot of words. All right. Jared is up next with Backslide, and coming up on the stage is that obscure villain from 1940s Warner Brothers cartoon, Dan Backslide, the former sneak of Roadford Falls, coward, bully, cad, and thief, an arch, arch enemy of the Dover Boys.
Okay, ma'am. I did. Please don't hurt me. Does it read really with Sylvia and trainers? I present to you the 700th Pokemon Sylveon by Not Invisible Angel. A Sylveon is a fairy type evolved from Eevee. It is a Pokemon of deep affection that shows its love to its trainer by wrapping its feelers around its trainer's arms as they walk together. Security breaches up next with Moki, Ruin, Xander, Thomas, and Nicholas. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, put your hands together for Freddy and the gang. Jeff is on the stage next with in the 2011 blockbuster Cowboys vs. Aliens, the mysterious gunslinger Jake Lonegrand rallies a town to ward off an invading alien force. Well tonight, that same cowboy comes to us to the rally, well I guess we will see.
Dusty is Michael. The Voltron Legendary Defender. Yeah. 
of night And gonna pull my punches in the love of my head
night awoke the next morning. I felt like old smog in there. <laughs>
this, uh, this is a song, um, many years ago I was, uh, my very first convention was an uh, uh, icon in New York on Long Island. And so I went up there one year and uh, I had been playing for a number of years by then and someone said to me after the show, I have a great song idea for you. And I was like, cool, let me hear it. Well, you know that band, Emerald Rose? I love this band, they're a Celtic rock band. I'm like, yes, they're fantastic. I love them. You know that song they do, Donald McGillivray? Donald, yeah, it's this old Scottish song. It's got, they do this driving rhythm, it's just fantastic. You know, it's yeah, I love that song. I have three words for you. Doctor of Gallifrey. <laughs>
ask you out for a drink All the rain fell down I tried not to think You might turn me down You're like an angel that has pulled at the universe Save me from a lonely life so much Don't play, don't look away Life is too short I won't play, I won't turn my back Let go of the hurt I won't Let's all drive my truck. Can a surgeon call it? 
color. Everybody cut! Well, folks, singers all expect you to drop your self-respect. And how? Like some of the men tonight. See, it's a big folk singer thing to say, everybody sing. It's not supposed to show our camaraderie. Well, the odds are pretty strong that I pay to do this song. So why should you do my job for free? I just ask you, I will not stay alone. Keep your stupid song worthy of it. It's you who can't see. You're not supposed to train us. You're supposed to entertain us. So get to work and be me. Let me hear you. I will not stay alone. Keep your stupid song Beautiful job, beautiful job. I, I just, I love your work. It's, uh, do, you, do you have a CD? <laughs> all right. I think I have time for, well, we all are ready, so I think I have time for maybe one more to do, to finish this up. One more. One more? All right. This is an old Scottish song that I absolutely love. Um, so I lived in New Orleans for a number of years, and uh, I really loved uh, the Scottish uh, doing this song with my friend Jamie Hauser. We put out a CD together, in fact. Um, <laughs> some of you thought that. I kind of slipped it in there. Okay. Um, but but when we did it, she did this, this whole bluesy, jazzy New Orleans thing that I was like, oh yeah, I'm totally stealing that. And uh, I get to do that now. It goes like this. <laughs> <laughs>
Stand, dude, I'm tired of holding the phone. Yeah. It's in the damn it's in the car. I could have brought it. Say hi, y'all are both gonna be on YouTube. All right. We have sound, yes we do. We have sound, and uh, it is time to announce the winner. It is time to announce the winners! Yeah. goes for best skit. We have Elena as Harley Quinn. <laughs> Don't 
Don't hurt me. Crowd favorite, Luke and Kelly as the modern major general. We have a very unique Mid-South Con only award. The WTF award goes to Jeff as the Magic Mike Extra.